Hello, everybody, and before we begin, some few notes I want to really, really quickly go over. Yeah, I got the part numbers mis messed up again, so I said, I believe, in the last video that was part 32. I believe this video is actually not part 32. And for, for the sake of records, I think I should stop saying the part number, considering how many times I fuck it up. So I think I'm just going to say from how, now on, Hello, everybody, welcome back to Insert Game Trial Here. I'm your host, one Day. That sounds better, right? Also, I'm... Looking over my previous files, I didn't realize that my voice was sounding so soft compared to the game volume. I thought I fixed it by lowering the game volume by 2.5 decibels and leaving the mic volume as normal. So I increased, I left the game volume at negative 2.5 and I increased my mic volume to 6 decibels higher. So hopefully that will sound a bit better because I want my voice to be the presiding factor when it comes to audio, not the game volume. Because I I want you to hear my commentary more than you hear I hear the game, right? Because that's what, how most people do it. <clears throat> so again, sorry, I know I am sick. My voice sounds a bit softer now. But hopefully with these new adjustments, it will sound a bit better, and anyway. So in between parts, I did get the chipset for the treasure hunt. And now I'm back in the Neuromod Division, and we're going to go have a talk, nice long talk with Walter. And hopefully nothing bad will happen. I hope he get free or anything and starts attacking us again. Maybe I'll get lucky, he'll be unconscious the whole time. Oh, hey Doc. Doctor Yu. Morgan. I was afraid you wouldn't make it. Mm -hmm. The subject, Dahl, has been secured. I believe I've isolated the correct neuromod. It is essential we say as little as possible of what has happened on the station and focus on the situation. Dahl, memory serves, should resort to field training and react accordingly. He was never one to question orders. Ready when you are, Morgan. Remember, if this works, say nothing. What am I supposed to do exactly? I don't want to fuck this up, so let's look at our objectives again. Neuromod removal process. When extracted, Dal's memory should revert back to the inception date. And he should forget his... assignment here. Doctor Yu? Ready when you are. Okay. If you're worried about the Geneva Protocols, you have my word. I will say nothing about who performed the procedure. Oh, I gotta do a neural scan. I am at risk as well, you know. Neural scan's done. Now, can I perform it now? Yes, we can. Oh god, this is nasty. If you're having second... <laughs> So what's this going to what? accomplish? Who are you? Morgan? Your father's... been asking about you. What? And Alex. I was supposed to report to him about her retrieval after modding up. Where am I? Why am I restrained? Commander. Dahl. I am Dr. Igwe. Chief physician here. You've... I've seen your face in the company directory. Alex's pet. The discredited parapsychologist. Ah. Commander Dahl, you've suffered a severe head injury as a result of a crisis here on the station. We need to evacuate at once, but we... we couldn't leave without you. Are you able to pilot a shuttle? What? Yes, of course I can pilot... Wait, what emergency? Is this Argus installation? Where's Casper? I'm afraid there's no time to explain. We need to get to the shuttle bay and prepare for departure. Transtar mandate. Doctor, you can confirm. Of course. Morgan, you look like shit. All right, let's get Daddy's precious child off the station, or Transtar will blackbox me. I am so confused. Just need to check your vitals. Wouldn't want our pilot to faint. There's nothing wrong with me. 
Was his mind warped so he would kill, there, Morgan. kill everybody? Is that what's going on here? I'm so confused. This game is confusing, guys. Of course, now he's not seeming that hostile. Compared to when he shot me. that I can predict what you're going to do fairly often. And yet, this turn of events with Dahl... I'm impressed and surprised you've managed to find a way to get remaining crew off the station. That's my goal. Yeah, because if January's goal is to destroy the research, then I don't see why I can't save these people and then destroy the research, you know? So then, what's our next objective? Oh yeah, we gotta do the tech officer. I completely forgot all about that. I assume that's a mandatory thing to do, right? I don't know. Maybe I'll get an update when I go back to the lobby. We'll see. <clears throat> because regarding my commentary audio, I do realize that using this stupid snowball mic was a waste of time because it picks up these these noises when I put it in front of me. But also, it did help make my voice any clearer, I feel, compared to this 1999 headset I got at GameStop. So, yeah. I'm going to stick with the headset from now on. I'm going to make adjustments as necessary so you guys can hear me clearly. That's my main goal here. I'm having enough problems trying to attract people to my channel, let alone having you guys hear me, you know? You know, hoping you guys can hear me clearly anyway. I mean, maybe I'm just thinking too much into it. So I think destroying the doll's, um, what do you call it, the, the, his operator is mandatory, I think. Because that's listed as a main story objective, while this way for the, him to go with the shuttle is a side objective. Right? So I think we got to destroy his operator no matter what. Oh god, is, is this a mimic? Or something else? Oh great, the nightmare's back! God damn it! How many more times do I have to deal with this board? Oh shit. It says optional, so yeah, it's optional. Alright, so we got... Disable the tech officer, which is somewhere... Tau's exterior, so it's telling me to go that way. I don't know why, though. I could cut through here to get. I don't know. I'd rather not deal with the nightmare, especially considering how much ammo I wasted on last time fighting it. And if it's just gonna come back repeatedly, it doesn't pay to kill it then. Oh shit, it's chasing me. It's chasing me. Hardware labs. Okay, yeah, there's an airlock there. I just remembered that. Okay, that makes more sense. Mm. Another thing I want to point out is if you guys see any technical stuff with my videos, like sound quality, audio quality, something is amiss, please let me know about it. Don't just, like, ignore it and think that I'm aware of it or something, because I'm usually not aware of it. Like with that stupid echo effect I had problems with like two years ago or one year ago. That was a major problem. I had to scrap all my recordings because of that. And unfortunately, nobody who watched my videos said, Oh yeah, dig, you know, your, your character's echoes, uh, character's voices are echoing. Nobody said that. Not one person. I do check my videos, but... Maybe because of that incident, I start checking my videos. But again, I hear my voice... Differently than everyone else hears their voice. And lately, the way I've been seeing it is that my voice quality is just not that good. If I had the money, I'd uh, get one of those boom mics that's on an arm, but I just can't afford that right now. Alright, so we should we should head to the airwalk. Ooh, the poltergeist is in here. 
Oh, can I even get in there? Yeah, I can with the power off. Yeah. That's fine. Airlock. Let's head out there. I also wonder if killing Walter would have a different effect on the game, as opposed to incapacitating him. I mean, come to think of it, if we killed him, he's the only one who could pilot the shuttle, so then we won't be we wouldn't be able to evacuate all these people, right? So that's what I'm thinking. I just realized that. Holy shit. I remember Dr. Eagle said he's the only one who could pilot the shuttle. I don't know why though. I mean, I know space travel is complicated, but you think someone else on the station will be able to pilot something, you know? You know, just speculating on how this game could possibly end. I really have no goddamn clue. I really hope there's like some surprise twist that justifies all this carnage and stuff, but there's no way of knowing. Microgravity detected. All right, so uh, we're going ah. Careful, careful. Tech officer is dead ahead. I really hope the nightmare cannot get me out of here. I would, that would really suck if that's true. Hmm. Let's get a bit higher. I don't want to bump into anything if I don't have to. Oh, careful, careful, careful. Oh, shit. Okay, my thrusters are not working correctly. Why is that? That because I took that chipset off? I really hope not. Fooey. It should be somewhere over here. Maybe I just wasn't pulling the stick hard enough. I really don't know. Closer. God damn, these things are out here too. Of course they are, why wouldn't they be? Casper? Oh, that's why he said, Where's Casper? I know I ain't catch that. So I just shoot it? DVM3, prior injection. How do I hack this? Does hacking do something better? Maybe it does. I don't know. Let's try it, guys. I keep coming up with these good ideas. This does. Oh. Server up the Morgan. Morgan again, Morgan. Nice work. Ripped. I'm taking what's left of my crew to the atmosphere data. controls and life support. Delivery We're going to clear out Dal's shitkin operators and make sure there are no more mishaps with the air on this station. Dal populated his entire crew so with customized operators. He made the mistake of hanging his hopes on the machine. Server arcs and stuff. But it's the only thing that matters in the end. Well done. The upload just kicked in. Meet me in the operator. We have important work to do. Okay, he's finally ready to meet me, guys. Now, is he actually going to come this time? Because last time he did not show up. Then I still have to make a decision probably on whether to destroy the station or not.
it's a hard sell. I still get what's going on with Walter though, because it, was he like manipulated to doing all this crap? I really have no idea. Also, what about my father, William? He ordered all this shit to go down to destroy everybody, or was that also manipulation? I, I don't get what's going on here. Well, this is not like a boss battle heavy type of game, but it makes you wonder if they have like a mother nest or something. I have to fight the end. I don't know. We'll see. We'll, we'll see. Like a mothership or like a mother brain or something. <clears throat> of course, whatever decision I make, I'm going to see it before I do it. So we can see all the options, hopefully. Outside that stupid wedding ring, which I have no idea who Kevin is, I think we've done all the optional objectives available. Yeah, we're only 16 minutes and had 16 and a half minutes. We got time, guys. This has to be like towards the end of the game, right? We've been playing this game for like practically forever. Yeah, so are all the operators kaput now? Please say yes. Maybe I'm lucky? I don't know. <laughs> okay, moment of truth, let's save. Oh, he's over there? What? I promised you my arming cape. All I ask is you hear me out first. And you can blow Talos one to pieces if that's what you think is best. I don't think you'll do it. I know. Because I used to think we couldn't be trusted to play with fire without burning the house down. But you convinced me. You showed me anything was possible, even if the price was steep. That part of you is still in there. We can make history, Morgan. Not those leeches on the Transtar board of directors, not Mom and Dad. You and I. Just like we planned. We got the data to confirm what you suspected. And Carl is broadcasting a neural signal. A secret message reaching to the stars. What I want to know is what is the message? And who is listening to it? I think you know. Ever since we first tested the Typhon neuromods, you've known. This fabrication plan is for the null wave device prototype you conceived. It will hijack the coral signal and use it to deliver a massive shock to every Typhon organism at once. Take it. Okay. And the army key, I got pro- What? What? Morgan! What the fuck is that? Oh, this ain't good. This is- this ain't good. Oh, Lord. He's, oh, he's unconscious. I mean, I didn't want to kill him, but... 
but still. Save Alex? How do I do that? Oh, give me safety the bunker. Where the hell is he? Right? No, I got I got shut him in here, don't I? What the hell is going on here? Okay, cool. I saved Alex. I'm not gonna leave him. What the hell is going on here? some good people fighting the black boxes and Dal wasn't here if you see him before I do make him pay hey Lazar out okay can I use the elevator yes, I can. Whoa, whoa, whoa. so what's our main objective I don't know what to do. This is really tough. We saved Alice, so we're gonna save again. Yeah, I'm not gonna make it so I don't save him, that's just stupid. Let me try doing Alex's plan first, and see. What, then we can always come back and do the R1, right? Okay, so we gotta get to a fabricator, what the hell that is. Oh yeah, there's one. Is it going to be zero-g gravity from here on out now? Oh my god. Careful, careful. What the hell is that? Do I really want to know? Probably not. These controls for the anti-gravity scenario are so awkward, it's really hard to get a handle on What the hell is that? I don't think it's shooting is doing any good. Well, I, how am I going to fabricate if there's no power? I gotta get the, get the psychotronics, right? Where the hell that is? That's how I don't want to go with the guts to them, though. Problem is... I don't know if the whiff's gonna be working now. Well, there's only one way to find out, am I right? Because what Alex is proposing is that we save the data, but we destroy all the Typhons that are attacking us, right? Or I could just blow up the station. I don't know what the best course of option is here. I'd like to think we didn't do all this for nothing, that we saved the data, right? Otherwise, what do all these people die for? That's just my take on the matter. I still want to make sure everyone's... Uh, 
even if I do destroy, choose to destroy a station, I'll make sure all the people are evacuated first. Otherwise, yeah, it doesn't pay to do otherwise. Okay, so we got, we have to be nearing the end of the game, right? It's such a conflicting thing, because you have no memory, so you have no idea what your true intentions were. It would also probably help if my character spoke, outside of not... You know, you know what I mean, right? I'm really hoping I could use the whiff to go back to the lobby. You anticipated the kind of appeal Alex would make. Sibling bonds. History. You programmed me to refute him point by point. However, we can skip that. A Typhon the size of a skyscraper is currently eating Talos 1 for lunch. Ergo, Alex is wrong. Destroy the station. Just as you planned. The blast will take the monster down with it. Destroy the station? But didn't you hear him? The null way. Alex is correct. It could work and preserve what we have learned here. We have to try. Igwe, look at the alien outside the station. Of course it's a risk, but we've seen the generator work. To destroy all this, to murder a species, and the research lost. It's... January is right, Morgan. We can't let these things get back to Earth, even if one of them hit Earth's side. Morgan, please. Destroying the station should be the last option, not the first. I kind of inclined to agree with the Doctor Igwe, because I mean, if we cannot defeat these things, then yeah, I'll destroy the station. But I want to see if we can defeat them first. Like he said, it should be the last option, not the first. We're going the right way. We have to fabricate this damn thing. What's wrong with me? Hopefully, there's a fabricator working in psychotronics. Again, yeah, if we cannot save the research or save the station or stop these things, then yeah, I'm totally on board with destroying the station. But otherwise, I think it's wor not worth it. Differing opinions, but. Oh my god, these are really hard decisions to make. Of course, my first priority is to make sure everyone can evacuate who can evacuate. That's my first priority. And if a narrow side objective pops up so I got prepped a shuttle for launch, I'll see to that too. I'm not sure how this is going to work exactly. We're definitely in the endgame territory. I can just tell by the way the game is structured. It's time to stop again. Oh my god. If the idea hasn't occurred to you, I'm sure it will eventually. Don't do it. I can't predict what would happen if you scan the apex. But all my models point to suffering. Oh yeah, that thing that he said not to go near. That's where the hardcore was. I forgot all about that, but... I really hope there's a fabricator in here that's working. Everything's reek on the shit now. Can I repair this thing? As I can. I 
Okay, so I have to fabricate. Whoa, whoa, whoa. God damn it. You just take the fake here. No way, Craig Litter. Get in there, okay. I remember that thing, I didn't really think much of it at the time, but yeah, there was no way for me to get in there, but now there probably is. I guess we'll go up then. Uh, make a narrow round. N dash CN9. Is, is this our way in? Alright. Oh, I need the fate unless we scan Coral, right? I took that chipset off. Do I or don't I? Or do I just go up to it and put this thing there? Alright, let's see what happens. What does that do? That should do it. Come to the bridge. We can finish this thing once and for all. Assume Alex's plan succeeds. Then what? You're taking a massive gamble that there aren't more predators like the Typhon. In the history of the universe, humans have only recently become self-aware. Yet you're going to kick the door open on a much wider and older cosmic ecology. One that feeds on consciousness. These are shark-infested waters. Alex believes we can be the bigger shark. But what if we're just poor swimmers, and now there's blood in the water? I don't know, man. I want to see all the options, though. That's why I'm really doing this. Okay, I don't see the harm in seeing if this works, and then we can blow up the station if it doesn't work, you know? Or maybe something else will happen, and then we can't blow up the station. I don't know. So we have to get back to the bridge. What's the quickest way to get there? The bridge is only accessible through the Arboretum, right? I take the lobby, Arboretum, Arboretum to the bridge, right? Right. I'm very tempted to stop the video now, but... I have no idea how much longer the game is, though. We could be, it could be just five more minutes for all I know. I have no idea. Okay, here's the deal, guys. I, I can't provide an idea. If it's just going to be five more minutes, I won't post this video, I'll leave it on my computer, and then I'll just splice together the footage if it's like a short little segment that's left. Otherwise, I'll just continue the film, alright? So, yeah, I'll resume filming when we're ready on the bridge, or unless something else happens in between then. That sounds like a good idea, right? So, thank you for watching, I'll see you in the next video. Take care.